Real Talk with Bob Mars. Hello, LinkedIn and Sterile Processing Universe. Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. I am super excited to be here with you today. Um, today, I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is the inspection of surgical instruments prior to sterilization. And for those of you that have been around for a while, we all have lived by the mantra, if a device cannot be cleaned, that device cannot be sterilized. And while this is a very true and very important fact, I would like to throw another one out there to say, if a device has not been inspected, that device should not be used in the operating room because you do not know if there's anything wrong with that instrument. So uh, leaders, uh, administrators, whoever's out there, we need to start ingraining into our head uh, quality over quantity. Say that with me again, quality over quantity. Um, most sterile processing departments seem to be in a huge hurry to try to get their product back to the operating room because they're being pressured to get it back. And often the inspection of those surgical instruments is missed or skipped altogether. And this creates challenges. What this does is it causes the surgeon to become a quality expert on those instruments. So he may get a pair of scissors or she may get a pair of scissors that do not cut. They may get a clamp that does not clamp. They may have curettes or osteotomes or kerosens, whatever it may be that have not been inspected and they're dull or they have burrs or there's some issue with those instruments that are causing frustration to that surgeon when they're performing the surgical procedure. And when that surgeon gets frustrated, they're focusing on the instrument. They're not focusing on the person under the drape who doesn't get a say. They came to our facility so we could help them get better. And with us not doing our job and not providing proper tools that have been inspected that we know are clean, that are functional, and that are complete, we're gonna cause challenges in the operating room. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a facility and at the workstation they have a magnification light where they can look at the instrument very closely, but they're not turned on one time the entire time I'm there doing an assessment. Or uh, they have zero testing materials. There's no uh, material to test scissor sharpness, no material to test uh, osteotomes and, and curettes for their sharpness. There's no testing material at all. And so they're basically either looking at the instrument quickly or not looking at it at all, and then placing it in the pan, which is a huge challenge. So today, I would like to throw a challenge out to everyone out there. Stop what you're doing, reset, work in sterile processing. Leaders, make sure your staff have the tools they need to do the job correctly. Let your staff know that it's okay that they slow down a little bit and that they always do a level playing field and they're looking at every single instrument every time. And there are very specific ways to look at those instruments to ensure that they are in fact working properly. So make sure you talk to your repair company or the manufacturer of that stainless steel instrument to ensure that you're using it properly and that we're sending a correct, sterile and safe product to the operating room every time we put a set together. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Real Talk.